Hello, it is the True Pusner, and I'm here bringing you another review, uh, this time on Evil Dead the Game. Uh, recent release, it just came out for free on PlayStation Plus last month, so a whole bunch of new players, and so I'm assuming that some people are looking to get into it, and so I figured it'd be a perfect time to do a review, um, and so I'm going to cover some of the good stuff and some of the bad stuff, and have the game play in the background here. Uh, I'm usually playing on Xbox One, so that's why I'm a noob here, uh, but I got max level one of my characters and I'm like level 10-ish on Xbox One. Uh, so anyway, some of my issues with it uh, are more in the progression than anything. So shown here, there's quite a big skill tree, but you can only get about halfway without having to prestige, and that, that's cool. Um, but the problem is, with the prestiging, is it takes so long. So 13,000 seconds, I think was about 3 hours. Final Prestige was about 9 hours so of uh, sitting on the objective. So that's 9 hours of just being on the objective to Prestige. Like, that's crazy. Um, so I'm, I mainly play as Lord Arthur. So you see, he has the same skill tree. You have to buy the outfits, which I'm not too keen on, but it's okay. Uh, but he has the same thing. So if you were to want to Prestige every character, Prestige 1 would be 3 hours of just sitting on the objective. So stuff like that that kind of ruined the fun for me, uh, where I got to that point and I didn't want to keep going because it was just so crazy. That's only one of them. I haven't done the calculations for all the other ones, but even like win 24 matches. It's just going to take an insane amount of time and it was just put in there to increase the play time and nothing else. So even if they just decrease it a little bit, I think I'd have much more fun with it and feel like I can progress better. So that's just the progression side of things uh, as you can see i was struggling because i didn't know i had to go in the tutorial um the gameplay itself is solid i'll give it that um it's i haven't played dead by daylight so i can't really comment on that but it feels a lot like those standard kind of third person survival horror i wouldn't even call it a horror game um, that's another place where it kind of struggled with is it wasn't too scary and I'm a huge fan of horror games uh, that are not overly scary but they're tense like Dead Space for example Dead Space isn't jump scares all the time it's just tense and it feels like you could die at any moment this one it I wouldn't even say it's that there th you can tell there's a bit of horror uh, like, there's some this dark alleyways, the sometimes there's a jump scare, History but after a few times it just gets repetitive so and it's not scary anymore. Uh, the core gameplay is good, um, the melee is fun, there's these, like, executions you can do, wh which is cool, um, and, you know, it's bloody, it's gory, um, all good things from a survival game. But it's just, or sorry, horror game. Uh, but it, it just gets repetitive after a while, and that's my main uh, point with this game. Is it just gets too repetitive? It needs something to shake it up a bit. So as you can see here, this is the main looting aspect, where you go around looting stuff, and this is going to be probably about your first five minutes of every game. It's just going around trying to find uh, enough cola and amulet and good enough weapons to do something. Um, and it's not bad. It makes sense theoretically, and. I, I don't know, it just, it just got, like I said before, it just got boring. I, I just didn't find it fun anymore. Um, and so, as you can see here, the actual gameplay of killing zombies is good. That's why I think the away mode, or like a Call of Duty Zombies uh, kind of mode, would be perfect for this game. Rather than having to do all these objectives and just kill zombies to see how long it could last. That'd be amazing. But the devs seem to kind of be neglecting it. They've done a few big content updates for free, which I respect, uh, but it's just it's been out for a while and there hasn't been too many different game modes. And that's the one thing that they do need to use different game modes. They tried with that Splatter Royale. Personally, I can get into it. Other people might like it, but it's not for me. Uh, but the core game mode, which is obviously what the entire game was based around, gets repetitive. It's the same thing over and over. Once you figure it out, um, th there's no variety there. And so I was a good, I think, 20 hours into it, and at that point, I maxed out my character level and I needed to prestige, and that's where I called it quits. There wasn't anything to keep me going, and the gameplay uh, had already ward off, and that was it for me. Um, they also came out with a single player mode, because apparently this game got delayed, and so that was sort of their apology for the players. And so I checked it out, and it's not bad, it's not good either. Um, but 
it seems like it's just an afterthought. It could have been great. The single player in this, where you will follow along uh, the movies, would have been amazing. But it seems like they, they sort of like have asked the, the single player. Um, it's overly difficult with no, uh, well, no other players, of course. But also just like making the zombies insanely powerful for no good reason. Um, I don't know, and it, it's not even worth your time. You don't get anything from it except for these little trinkets that are, aren't even worth anything. Uh, no achievements from it either. But those were my main um, points of interest. The upgrading was kind of cool. I did like that, where you could upgrade each game individually. It's sort of what I wish the prestige system was like, where it's more compact and easier to understand rather than having to spend hours of playtime just to prestige one character. Uh, some of the other characters are locked behind a paywall, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I understand they have to make more money somehow in order to keep the game going, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So, bottom line, we'll the final I think piece of the map. if you're an evil bedfit, you're the definitely of the lost this. Pages For how long, however, I don't know, but Vegas. if you're not an evil dead fan, it's going to be difficult to get into. Um, it's just, it's bogged down by the repetitiveness and the lack of variety. Um, other than that though, it's a solid gameplay. The player base is relatively active. A lot of hackers though. Um, when I was playing, I ran into a lot of hackers for no good reason. They're just ruining the fun for everyone. But, I mean, if you got it for free for PlayStation Plus, might as well give it a go. As shown here, it was kind of neat with the fear factor, where you had to uh, light fire and have your fear go down. And it's cool whenever you're playing as a demon, because that's whenever you can trap their survivors and uh, possess them and force them to turn on each other. That's another thing I didn't touch on. You can play as a demon. and uh, It's a cool little trope. I assume Dead by Daylight did it. Like I said before, I haven't played Dead by Daylight, so I'm not 100% sure. But it's the standard uh, for... 3 or 4v1, I'm not, I can't remember. Um, I think Dead by Daylight is 3. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's cool whenever you're playing as Demon because you can control uh, survivors and, you know, possess different things, but it just gets way too difficult. It, there's way too many survivors against you, and it just gets unfun and just annoying, in fact. Um, but other than that, like, there isn't really too much else to comment on. The game is pretty linear, there's nothing overly special about it, nothing that stood out to me other than being it's Evil like Dead. If this game wasn't Evil Dead, I probably wouldn't be playing it. But that, I think that's the bottom line. So all in all, good good game, um, good gameplay, um, fun gunplay and melee and everything. Uh, it just gets bogged down by progression and uh, prestige and all that competitiveness. So, I'm going to give it 6.5 out of 10. Like I said before, good gameplay, fun game, it's just the repetitiveness and prestige issues hold it down from true true greatness. It's good for the first 15-20 hours, but after that it just gets more of a slog than anything. Um, and I think that no game should have to feel like a chore to do, and that's the issue that Evil Dead the game runs into, is that it does feel like more of a chore once you reach that point in the game. Uh, if I'm paying enough money for it, I don't want it to uh, 15 hours in to not feel fun. So that's my review of Evil Dead the Game. If you liked, please subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot. I'll be doing more of these reviews soon. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.